Good morning, everyone. Coming from New York here. What will we be discussing today on this channel? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well this October 2022 morning here in New York. It is pouring out. Cats and dogs, as we say. Okay. Number one, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Please, I know you hear it on every channel, but just hit the subscribe button. Make this old guy feel good. Thumbs up, comment below, and send me an email. I'll answer any photographic question you have. Black and white photo at AOL.com. All right, let's get into it, folks. I am holding a 14 ounce, 10 megapixel Canon camera that sells for $90 in mint used condition on eBay. This is the 2009 Canon G11 flippy screen optical viewfinder, right? When you put your eye next to it, right? When you look through and you zoom with the zoom button on top, the optical viewfinder zooms in as well. This is my first non-professional go-to street photography camera. It replaced the G1, a three megapixel street wonder, street shooter, street capturing beautiful machine. The G1, which still works, made by Canon, three megapixels, was replaced by this one many, many years ago when I wanted to try street photography from my moving about the city. I just took this and put it in my pocket. It's pretty small, okay? It's a pretty small format, but I have to tell you about this camera because the images you're about to see that this took are just incredible. Why am I pushing this camera, this 10 megapixel camera, with a small 1 slash 1.7 inch sensor? <sighs> For $90, this is an image stabilized camera. Image stabilizer built into the camera. The battery is huge, it'll last you all day takes an one SD card. The zoom on this in equivalence to 35 millimeter is a 28 to 135. Isn't that the basic lens collection that we all want? A 28 for wide angle up to 135 for portraits. Portraits, isn't that exactly what we look for? So, this 400 gram beautiful beast made by Canon in 2009 will give you such beautiful photographs. How about the close-ups that it takes, not macro, but only 18 inches away for beautiful close-up photographs. 18 inches is the close focusing. Um, maximum shutter speed, oh, did I mention it has a real shutter speed dial, compensation dial, full manual aperture prior, uh, program mode and shutter speed dial, um, program, shutter speed, priority, aperture priority, and manual dials right up on top, dedicated buttons on the back for everything you need. Flippy screen, okay, to take shots up or over your head. 
right? Selfie mode, if you wanted to take selfies. I can't say enough good about this camera. The Canon G11. Uh, it takes JPEGs and RAW. The ISO range, 80. You know how nice and creamy and distortion-free your ISO 80 photographs come? You're about to see them right now. I have 15 or so photographs I'm going to list. I'm going to put up right now. 10 megapixels in this format for $90. It's a Canon product. This isn't a no brand product. This is a Canon product. Look at the zoom lens. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's optical zoom, not some digitized garbage zoom. This is highly recommended. Canon G11, $90 on eBay. There's, I'm looking at it right now. I have it up on my computer screen. There's about, uh, I don't know, 40 of them listed. You want to get it from a seller that has 100% positive feedback. I call it credibility. Uh, don't go past 99.2% of their feedback score. And don't get it from somebody that has a feedback score with only three, four, or 10 feedbacks. You want to get it from somebody that has hundreds of feedbacks. And take a look at their other items for sale. If the other items for sale are shoes and gloves, I stay away from that. You want to get it from a photo dealer that says, this is working, tested. Don't pay more than $90. His credibility's got to be above 99.2 and hundreds of feedbacks. All right, let's talk about the G1. This is what started the whole G series with Canon. Now remember, Canon Color Science is in this $90 10 megapixel camera. I've said enough. Let's go to the photographs right now. Remember, you must subscribe. Those are my words. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below and email me black and white photo at aol.com i'm a photographer with 50 years of experience i want to answer your questions let's look at the photographs that this g11 took right here in new york let's look at the photos right now 